Hey guys, morning and I hope you all are having an amazing day. So yesterday I uploaded few pictures to my Instagram and Facebook and started getting a lot of questions like how did I get the shot, what were my settings, how did I nail the focus and how did I get to the top of the car. But the best question was photo badia hai but sach batao le kon raha hai, kon hai tere saath. So in this video I am gonna explain you how did I get the shots, what were my settings, how did I nail the focus and also how did I get to the top of the car and also I am going to show you and tell you exactly what you need to do to get those epic travel shots, how do I get it and how you can get those outstanding shots. Taking photos while traveling can really be an intimidating task. I love taking my self portraits because most of the people have no idea how to handle the camera. I am mostly disappointed whenever someone takes one of my pictures because it's either out of the focus or exposure is not right or it's a shaky picture and I'm always like super embarrassed to pose in front of anyone so over time I've mastered my skill of self portraits and I'm gonna show you how do I do it how exactly you can do the same and yeah you can master the same skills as well first thing first what do you need you need a good tripod you need a good camera which is smart Wi-Fi control management and then you need to understand something about the photography terms like ISO shutter aperture exposure also composition is everything composition is everything when it comes to photography if you don't have the composition right no matter how good your camera is no matter how good your tripod is no matter how epic location you are in your photos are going to look crap keep in mind first always shoot raw so that you can just adjust any of the parameters while you are on the editing table second always try to set your exposure right without having you in the picture Third, set the focus area correctly depending on the position where you are trying to place yourself or place the subject. Fourth, get a lot of shots because you have no idea which picture is going to hit the right moment. So that's it for the tutorial part. Now let me show you how I do it normally. Let's do it. So now let me show you how I do it exactly. So here is the car on the back, mountains are there and then I have placed my tripod right here. So composition is already set. The first thing which you need to do is about composition. So my composition is something like this, car is right there, camera is on the eye level of the car and this is where I need to get my shot. Let me show it to you from the camera. Oh, 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 camera live view, oh wow. It's way too bright so you cannot see it but still uh, here is the car on the top of it I have placed some breathing space because I'm gonna stand on top of it so and also I need to make sure that I have none of the cars parked right here and there because I don't want to go it to and Photoshop a lot so I will just have to get the shot get on the top of the car and get a lot of shots and see which is gonna fit my taste so let me just go ahead and get to the top of the car now. The most important thing, you need to set up the Wi-Fi smart remote control on your camera and get the phone connected to the camera. So I need to go to the camera now and go to control via smartphone connection and then get my phone connected. <laughs> how I did it yesterday so I had to do this today for the tutorial again I am using a Sony A7R 3 you can do the same with any of the Sony Alpha cameras because Sony comes with this Wi-Fi smart control application you can also do with any of the camera you need to just make sure your camera is having a smart Wi-Fi control application for your mobile phone that's it so those are the pictures which I just got today 
they look good right and the only reason is composition the composition is just perfect you need to nail everything about composition before you start getting all such epic travel photos i hope you have learned something today if you have got any questions just let me know in the comment section below smash the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet and don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated i will see you next time peace